So in this exercise we want to take uh, strings like this, so we have here two, and create hashes, uh, individual hashes out of each one of them. So we, ha we, uh, we had a skeleton with this code and then uh, having uh, the uh, for each loop was already there, I just wanted to have this code inside. So we go over one by one the input strings, and then we have to first cut them up into the key value pairs. So if you recall, the ampersand is the sign that divides between the pairs. So if we split up according to the ampersand, we get a list of the pairs. So each element in this array is one of these. So this will be one er element without the ampersand. And then uh, let's try this if I mark it this way. So including the O. Or uh, that, so that would be one element and then uh, each part, each pair is, a, is an element in the pairs and then we create the hash in which we are going to save the key value pairs so we can go over now the per pairs dollar $p always holds one of the pairs and then split them up according to the equal sign so each pair has uh, an equal sign inside then we get the key and the value so split would create a list, but we, in this list we have already have two elements. So the first one is the key, the second is the value. And then we can put into this hash, use the key as the key and the value as the value and uh, add this key value pair to the, uh, to the hash. Once we did this for all the pairs, we have everything in the data. And then now we can run, uh, use the dumper, the data dumper from, from the dumper module to print it out. So yeah, I've switched to the other screen and I run Perl, uh, it's, called, uh, it's called split HTTP. If I run it, I'll get this uh, result. So uh, obviously the order of the keys here is um, basically random, so it might be different for your run. If we want to go s over this uh, code, then we can run with, with the debugger. So the first day here um, will be the assignment to the input. That's okay. That's not uh, interesting. Then we have the for each loop. We enter. So if I now check what's in the str, that's the first string. And then there comes the split. So the next uh, command is uh, splitting up the string. Let's do that. Now we know we can ha see what is in the pairs. So if I can press X and pairs with a backslash at the beginning, then it will print out that it's an array and it has three elements. And each element you see that the key value pairs there. Now we have the pairs in there. So we go over one by one each pair. The first one is $p has foo, f name and foo, and then in the next operation, we this is the next operation, you can see, we are going to split it up. So now the dollar key, dollar $k holds the, the f name, that was taken from here, and dollar $v holds the foo, and if we check what's in data, data is still empty because we haven't assigned anything. The next thing is to assign the first key value pair and uh, so that's what we did. If I print out the data again now you can see that the f name and foo is already inside. If now we go on uh, we, we get into the we got to the next iteration already let's list the code so if I list from uh, 10 to 20 you see, now we got to the next iteration already of this loop. So if I print out the dollar $p, it contains the second pair or already. Just to remind you, in pairs, this is the second pair, right? Okay, so now we have uh, the second pair. We split that up. So now in k, we have the a name and the value is obviously the uh, bar data is the ha data hash is still the same 
but now we assign to the data hash again so if I print out the data hash now it has both pairs inside and uh, I can press just enter to go finish the loop and then if I print out the data myself it will show the three key pa value pairs but the next operation is actually printing it with data dumper so well <laughs> this now we, we started to debug data dumper that's what, not what we, we want to do so I press R for return and it will leave the data dumper, data dumper and here this is the what data dumper printed out, uh, returned and then print printed out and then I can continue to run the second part which will print out the result from the second uh, string. <coughs>